You look nice. Thank you. It's all right, this, isn't it? Us being on our own. Oh, yeah. What's that you're hiding? Oh, nothing. Yeah, you did. It was a baby photo of you, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. You should see the photos my mum's got of me. Big, goofy teeth and everything. Like a right muppet. So, anyway, have you got the video? Oh, yeah. Put you like horror films. Well, um, I haven't really seen that many. Not scared, are you? It's all right. You can hide behind me. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, you. Sam, you were asleep. It's better. It's more scary with the lights down. Oh, I can't even look. <laughs> He's going to get her. What's that? Oh, who is it? Oh, my God. What's going on here? Nothing. You fucking frightened the fucking life out of us. I thought you had burglars. Sorry, we're just watching a video. Yeah, well, I'm talking to her, not you. And who are you, anyway? Oh, here, Sarah. What? Well, you're going to look after her. You're just going to let her cry. Oh, come on, what's the matter? Are you going to look after your daughter? She's yours? Yes. Why, did she forget to tell you that? Martin, please! Or was she just lying? Because you're getting really good at that lately, aren't you, Sarah? Maybe I should go. Yes, maybe you should. Sarah? So! Perhaps you'd like to tell me what's been going on. All that rubbish about Candice. About needing to be with her. I mean, I believed you. I even gave you the taxi money. Else I could do. I'm lying about your own baby. I just can't fathom you, Sarah. See, I knew you wouldn't understand. I wouldn't understand what? I hate it. What? What do you hate? All this! Right, like making stuff up just so I can have a life. I mean, all the girls at school, they can go out all the time. Well, you're a mother, Sarah. You can't be like that anymore. Are you just so I can see Bethany. I mean, I phone her up in my lunch break to make sure she's OK. And I spend half the yes, night I up with her. Yes, I know it's hard. You don't know the half of it, and none of you do. I just want it to be normal for a change and just go out like everybody else does. So you thought you'd lie about Bethany, then? Well, you did, Sarah. You pretended she wasn't yours. No, I didn't. Oh, stop lying to me. Look at her, Sarah. She's your daughter. She relies on you for everything. You just stood there and denied her. Please, mind, don't tell my mum. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't promise anything now. Martin, please, if you tell my mum what I did, she'll never forgive me. Please. So are you here to tell mum? Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Just to know. Why, other than to make my life even more miserable? We were watching a video, you know, we were... You can't keep on acting like you've not got a baby. Just because it suits. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm going to bed. Well, this one, last night, left me with Bethany so she could have a lad round here. What? We were only watching a video. What lad? A boyfriend? Yes, a boyfriend who, get this, doesn't know she's got a baby. Yes, well, he does now, doesn't he? You come back here, Sarah. What the hell were you doing? I let her bring a lad round. And who is he, anyway? Now, don't start on me, Gail. Well, what do you expect, Martin? I have responsibility for her most of the time. You have a one night and this happens. Gail, she lied to me. She had it all worked out in advance. I had no reason to be suspicious. Gee. And anyway, didn't you have any inkling that she had a boyfriend? No. I've been dreading this happening. Oi, Glenn never said he didn't want to talk to you again, did he? Yeah, I know, but look on his face was like he had plague, never mind a baby. So did he say out about Bethany? You know, about you not telling him? No. Martin was more upset about me keeping Beth a secret than he was with catching me with Glenn. Because the look on his face. Sarah, that's parents. If they can't shout at you, they'll take you on the biggest guilt trip they can. Yeah, I know, but I pretended she didn't even exist. So what are you going to do about Glenn? Are you going to ring him? No. Well, I would. Yeah, I know you would, but I'm not. 
No, if he's going to ring me, I'll let him ring me, just to see if I'm all right, at least. Well, if he doesn't, you know he's not worth it, OK? Yeah, I know, but I really liked him. Well, he's not that nice. Yes, he was. Well, there's one thing good to come out of this. Yeah, what's that? That little nugget of a brother can't blackmail you anymore. <laughs> Don't you go disappearing again. I want to see if I've got a lad hid in my room. I don't think you're in any position to make smart comments. Your mum, it doesn't even matter what I say, does it? Cos you and Martin think I'm a slag. That's not true. You know it. But if you behave like you did last night, what do you expect? Mum, we were watching a video. That's not the point, and you know it. We weren't doing anything. You told a pack of lies to Martin. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it's not like I had much choice, is it? I'm not with you. OK, well, what about if I'd said, oh, and by the way, me and Glenn are coming back here to watch a video? You were on your own with the lights out with a boy whose name I didn't even know until this morning. See, you don't even trust me. Mum, I couldn't bring a lad back here, couldn't even go out with a lad because you don't trust me. You didn't ask me. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway now, does it? Cos you really think, by any chance, that any lad would be interested in me ever again? No, they'll all be too busy flaming laughing at me. Typical. Up since half five and goes to sleep now. Still time for your breakfast if you quit. Tea's in the pot. Oh. Cheer up, Sarah. Only a week to go and it's Christmas. Exactly, so why do I have to bother going in? There will be other lads, you know. Yeah, like you'd know. I still remember when Barry Teasdale dumped me for Maureen Plaskett two days before my 14th birthday. It was dinner time. Oh, um... All right. But just imagine if he hadn't. I wouldn't have met your dad. I wouldn't have had you, would I? Mum, don't even bother pretending it's the same, cos it's not. I mean, Barry, whatever his name, didn't dump because you had a screaming, stinking baby, did he? Little bird tells me it's a bit of a looker, this new lad of yours. Glenn, is it? Yeah, it's all right. But it's not mine, though, not now. All right. So, were well, you not planning on telling him about Bethany? Not ever? Why well, should I? It's because I heard half the lads at school won't look at me twice. Oh, Sarah. It's true. I'm sick of it. I just wish I'd never had her. Well, you don't mean that. No? No, of course not. You love Bethany. We all do. All well, my friends are out having a great time. They've got Saturday jobs. They go shopping. I can't even go to the magazine club at school because of her. I hate it. I hate her. Well, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. You know, um, I were only a couple of years older than you when I had my Stephen. Yeah, exactly. And you gave him away, so you must know how horrible it is. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Do you think I would have given him away if I didn't have to? Well, I think you made the right choice, yeah. No, I made the worst choice. I made the worst choice possible. I mean, it were different all those years ago. It wasn't just the Blanche Hunts that were pointing the finger at me, it was everybody. Your gran were the town slut. So you can imagine what folks were saying a couple of years later when I had your mum. Yeah, no, but you kept her. Oh, yeah, yeah. No way was I going to go through all that heartache again. And yes... There weren't many boys that wanted a girlfriend with a baby. But there were a few. Yeah, well, there aren't any now. Oh, don't be silly. Oh. Oh, Sarah. You are a lovely, beautiful girl. And hundreds of lads that want to go and take you out. Yes. And a few will be fine about Bethany. So, Gran, when do I tell them? Is it like two weeks into the relationship or after the first date or what? No. Tell them at the start. And if they still want to see you, those are the ones worth hanging on to. Right, OK, then. Well, what about this? This looks quite cool. Yeah, you could wear this like this for Wednesday. What for? Duh, for the Christmas party. You are going. What's the point? Well, everyone's going to be there, and it's Christmas, that's the point. Hi. Here you are. You take her. There's your mummy. She's been good all day. And she slept for an hour this morning as well. 
stopping for your tea candies? Oh, uh, no, thanks, Mrs. Platt. I better be off. So, is this about Glenn? Look, oh. does he not phoned? I think he's changing. No, he hasn't phoned. I don't think he's going to either. Well, why don't you phone him? Why do you think? Let me check you. No one's going to want to cop off with me ever again, are they? Don't be stupid. I'm not being stupid. Candice, you don't know what it's like being me. Well, I'm with you every day, 24-7. Yeah, well, it's not being me, is it? No one looks at you like you're something they're trodden. They don't look at you like that. Remember, everybody in the class used to fancy you. Yeah, used to, exactly. Not anymore, though. Not sincere. They'll treat me different. No, they don't. <laughs> look, it's all in your head. You see, that was different with Glenn. Cos I didn't go to the same school as him. I could just be exactly who I wanted to be with him. Not just some daft little slag with a baby. Will you stop feeling so sorry for yourself? It's not as if you can change anything. You might as well just get on with it. Oh, well, thank you, Candice. Well, I don't know how you put up with me. <sighs> Listen, why don't you just go? All right, I will. Oh, hang on a minute. Your wages. Have you broke up yet? Yep, today. Christmas party tonight should be really good. Ooh. All right. Yep. Enjoy your party, Candies. Look, Glenn didn't even go to our school, so we wouldn't have been able to go to the party anyway. So? You're welcome to come with me and Darren if you want. Yeah, I like him that desperate. Well, excuse me for asking. Look, you're a right misery these days. You never want to come and have a laugh. Maybe it's because I've got nothing to laugh about. Oh, right. Poor teenage mother. I mean, you blame everything on Bethany. I do not. Well, why don't you get Hayley to come and babysit? She's always offering. Oh, come on, Candice. You know what my mum's like. She won't have it. Fine. I give up. You're pathetic, you are. Never mind, love. She'll come round. She's just a bit thoughtless. Yeah, well, I don't care. She can just get lost. Heard Glenn, the whole lot of them. I'm not interested. All right, sport, you ready? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> oh, Dave, why didn't you put that in the wash? It's filthy. Well, I'm playing football. I'm just going to get even more filthy. What are you planning to do? Stink the opposition off the pitch? No. <laughs> Go and get your other one out of the airing cupboard. That's for going out, and I can't play football in that. Well, it's a football shirt, isn't it? Mum, you don't understand. David, just get your other shirt. You all right, Sarah? Yeah. OK. Do you mind picking him up as well? Um, I'm doing some overtime tonight, trying to get the database finished. Yeah, OK. Is she OK? Who can tell? Uh, teenagers, eh? <laughs> Listen, um, does that offer a Christmas dinner still stand? I thought you were working. Yeah, I can wind all the time off. Well, it's just the thought of spending Christmas Day without the kids. You'd be more than welcome. Oh, thanks. Right, I'd better get him off to the football. David, are you ready or what? Should be back by ten. Any problems, give us a ring. The only problem is, is how to stop her crying. Mm, lovely. She's teething. She's gonna cry. Just pick her up and give her a hug. Mm. See you later. See ya.